Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Elm Creek here in Farming Simulator 22 with me, C1E. It is the start of a lovely, lovely new morning. Uh, we've got a couple of things to do today. But firstly, let's summarize what I've done since ending the last video. Um, got the grass spales wrapped. Amazingly, I've got sort of uh, 72, 73, 74, 76 silage bales off of that one field. It's one little field. Um, somehow gave me all those pallet, um, bales of silage. That's a lot of silage bales. However, I did have one little weird problem. Um, and that was, as I was bailing with the fancy fast bail, I got a phone call in real life. Well, not a phone call. I got a notification in real life that I had to log on to a website for one of these face, one of these virtual um, over the internet webcam -y job appointment things. So obviously I quit out of the game. When I logged back into the game, what I discovered was my bailer over here was actually, when I quit out of the game, was actually in the mid wrapping stage. It was halfway through wrapping a bale and I could not get that bale out of the machine. I could not get it to finish wrapping that bale and drop it. So the bailer got full. I've picked up more grass until it was completely full and then I couldn't do anything with it because it wouldn't unload the bale that it was partially wrapped. So I ended up having to reset the baler back to the shop, um, which obviously empties it and clears it all out. And then I was able to go and get the, um, go, re go, go back to the shop, pick the baler up again with the tractor, come back to the field and finish baling the field. So I probably lost, I definitely lost two bales, probably two and a half bales. I probably could have had even more. But anyway, today we have got quite a few things to do. Noticeably, we need to sell some honey um, to start the day. So let's have a look at that. Where is honey? Best selling price for honey currently is placeable production sales. Now that's at a new location, that is. So let's see if old auto drive will do it. I've been setting up and tweaking a few auto drive courses, by the way. So that guy should be going off to the taco shop. Right, this guy we'll come back to this fella that needs to be on cultivating duty we need to get started on cultivating so we've got plenty of bales <laughs> which hopefully i'm going to be able to sell Right, so let's have a look. My cultivator is how wide? 12.2. Okie dokie. Course play. He hasn't got a course loaded. Going to create a course play field job. So again, if you didn't see this tutorial last time, first thing I do is obviously pick the field that we're going to be starting on. First waypoint, then we're going to open the course play program. We're going to change the working width. Seven, up and down. The headland corners are going to be sharp. No, they're going to be smooth. 
number of headrooms two clockwise is going to be the headroom direction so it's going to go you know normal way around the field a 15 percent overlap on headland so he hopefully manages to do the field okay start working on the center so he's going to start working on the up and down a bit and then field margin we're going to make the field, him think the field's a little bit bigger by making the field margin minus two generate the course okay and now we can see he's actually got the bring him over here now first waypoint is actually indicated with the blue arrow he will now go and realign himself oh mr taco man has got stuck right uh yeah nola's ready to harvest too Today. <laughs> there's a lot to do today folks a lot to do i was tempted to let the um i was tempted to ignore the canola harvesting And I'll know when I'll know when the other tractor driver has reached our um, our taco shop because I should see my money start to increase. <laughs> There he goes, he's selling some stuff. That means he's at the taco factory. will do stop this guy for a second perfect uh, bring him back to the farm right this fella we're gonna tell him because he's got bales you see He's got the straw bales. What we're going to do, we're going to send him. Uh, first of all, we're going to do deliver to uh, animal supply sales. Go. And if this works, I'm a genius. <laughs> I am. Not to blow my own trumpet or anything, but if this actually does what it's supposed to do, then we could be really, really in a good position. Because certainly selling bales will be a very, very, very lot easier. <laughs> a very, very, very lot easier if this guy does what he's supposed to do. So which way is he going to go? Nope, it's going straight on. Yeah, 
He knows this is the more efficient route. So he's got to go all the way up to the animal dealer this fella has. With the bales. And we'll see if he manages to sell properly. I've not tried it with a bale trailer. I know it does it with regular trailers for tipping crops and stuff but I've never tried it with a bale trailer so this is going to be a first experience whether this guy actually does what I've programmed the course to do or whether he's going to go and have some issues Yeah, he's made a turn. Right. This is where it will get interesting then. Um, as I recorded this little course as well, one of the things I have done as well, I've tried to straighten out some of the the, 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 the dots on some of the on this road and I've actually deleted some of the dots. So where there's like a, a bit of a, a long stretch of road, I've actually removed some of the dots and just left like one dot every so often. It's more noticeable down here where I've done it. Once we go past this little point over here, there'd be a few little dots removed. And what he should do, he should now peel off into the animal dealer area. Here he goes. Here you go. And what he should do now he should realize he's got to go forwards. Okay. And then he's going to reverse this back. Oh my lord. This guy is so smart. Is he? No, he's not. <laughs> not smart. Because I've done broke it. Um. I need to change direction now, don't I? That's it. Basically, I need to back this guy up a lot further. Right. I think I know how to fix this. What I've got to do, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to need to delete maybe possibly that waypoint. Probably going to have to create another node or three. So. 
Then we're going to do reverse shift. We want to try and get that as straight as possible. Okay. So, those, those points need to move. Not easy to do. Right shift one there, one there. Try and get that one. This guy can't actually reach that point. That's going to be animal supply sales. Animal supply sales. Right. We're not quite finished yet, though, are we? Now, of course, we have to link that back up there. Right, we'll give this another whirl. Okay. Trying to remember what keybinds I've put on the old joystick a Rooney. Realised not actually giving him away. Get to there. Right, let's try that again. So, this time he should be able to back up far enough. What I'd done foolishly. I haven't actually allowed him enough room to actually reverse so this time He should be able to reach the trigger area because he's got to go all the way back, back, back. Maybe it won't do it. 
with the baler. Right, once more. If he'll actually, I don't think he'll unload. I don't think he knows how to unload a bale trailer. I think it's got to be a regular trailer. No, he didn't. He, he didn't get far enough back, did he? Hmm. This is a little bit trickier. I'm going to lie. Think about this. For now, then, dude, please drive back to the um, yeah. I'm going to have to have a look into that and see if there's a way. I can make that guy do what I need him to do. I know it works with trailers. You can do it with trailers. They can make you could, the guy, the auto drive guy, can reverse a trailer and tip a trailer. Um, I'm not sure if he can do it with the bale loading trailers, though. I don't know. If they can, let me know in the comment section down below, and we'll see if we can work that out and figure that out. It's quite possible I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> As I say, I'm not an auto drive expert. First time I've ever used that that mod is with FS22. I am much more comfortable with course play, but of course, course play is in a bit of a transition period at the moment, where it's being completely redesigned from the versions we've known and loved for the past two Farmerson games. And right now, course play doesn't have all those super helpful functions and abilities that we're used to having so definitely proving a little bit harder right there was one other thing I wanted to do today as well another thing we need to sell starting to get a little bit out of hand is the wall Switch that guy off for a second. Let's 
still got all the greenhouse stuff to sell as well. But I think it's more important at this point to do some wool sales. The sheep must be getting quite a bit full. So I'm going to turn off my hood, of course. Now I can't see anything. Try and get a good angle for wall sails, right? All right, there's the wall. Well, he's now got the hood off. I can't see the auto drive stuff. So I'm going to have to put it back on for a minute. <laughs> right. I would like you, please, sir, to go to the spinnery holding area. The spinnery holding area, I hear everyone at home now asking. Yes, spinnery holding area. It, believe it or not, is an area on the map. That is near the spinnery, but isn't actually, like... The delivery point of the spinnery because the spinnery on this map is kind of laid out weird it's going to be really difficult to get the guy to drive in there with a trailer and automatically unload my um my wall so i've just created a, a holding point for him a parking spot close to the spinnery that he can um, get to. Well, I'm just picking up all these um, bales. Because we're going to sell these straw bales because we do not need them. Some crop that we're going to, we're obviously, we can get paid for. We're not going to be selling the wheat because, like I've mentioned already, I'm going to be putting in animal um, uh, chickens. Bit of a painful process this when you're trying to restack bales. On a trailer. <laughs> Again, it's where an auto loading bale trailer would come in very handy. I know there are a couple out there. There's a, a there's the um, what is it? The Pongy Pack? Is it Pongy Pack? Um, yeah, these things. However, what I don't like about the two largest ones, uh, those do twenty eight. I might get one of those. That does exactly the same number as the trailer I've already got. However, it doesn't have the swivelly front wheels, which makes that a lot easier to load. Um, 
probably that one as well is probably going to be pretty decent. Something like that. I'm not sure why I've got a uh, silage bale appearing in the store menu. That's a bit concerning. I've been reading about that bug. <laughs> Uh, and I have yet to experience it. Um, oh, I haven't put a waypoint. Eesh. Tell you what you can do then for me. Go to the farmer's market. That's near. I right, just need to tidy up some of these bits where he's done a very poor job on the corners. But hey, horse play. Save me, save me doing it, didn't it? There's doggo. He's actually cultivated the whole field. Very nice. Apart from this corner over here, he's missed a little spot on. Let's go do that. Right, we'll now be able to set him to work. On this field as well, doing cultivating. Right. Force loaded, great job. Field work, target position. That way. Sharp corners this time, see if you'll do it a little bit better. And start job for me. Right. This guy's at the spinnery holding area, like I say. Problem with this area is he's gonna he would struggle to reverse a trailer in here. Certainly a trailer like this with the um with all the axles because I can't reverse those trailers so I don't know how the plumbing auto drive is expected to be able to do it <laughs> right please sir come back to farm main yard oh perfect timing And a little bit of cash.
I'm going to tidy this up a bit, I think. So, wait, um, wait, always. I think the biggest problem I had was I maybe didn't give myself enough room to straighten up. I needed to straighten up a lot quicker. Don't know if I've got the room to do that. Give it a go. Right, so that is a straight point there. Ish. That would kind of need to move. That would have to move that way a bit. That would have to move out that way. That's not going to help. I need to get that trailer fairly straight, don't I? Now I just need to put in this waypoint again. Perfect. He should be able to drive that now then. 
we'll see. Worst comes to worst, I'll have to put a normal bale trailer on the job. Uh, farm main yard, go. That fella's course playing, right. Okay, now I can turn the hood off again. Because now I'm doing me harvesting, so of course, I'm not going to reveal how much harvesting litres we've done. I'll do that in the next episode. So everybody who still has time to get their guesses in. Um, and we'll see what's occurring. I was also hoping to get some seeding done today as well. I think I'm going to be lucky enough to get some planting done. Have we got the wool sold? We've got honey sold. I haven't got, admittedly, I haven't got the pallets sold from the greenhouse, but I can do that off camera. That's not going to be a problem. That's not going to be a problem. And then next episode, we should be raring to go with getting some chickens placed on the farm, as well as revealing what we got from our fields this current year. And then we'll start seeding the fields ready for year three. And keeping an eye on crop prices to see when we're going to sell stuff again. Try and get the most money. Single track. There goes Mr. 8R with the bale trailer lot. Gonna get stuck behind the um, 6R in a minute. Or he's gonna crash into the 6R. He might run over Doggo as well. I can see Doggo over there. Detected he was going to be full. He was going to be in the. Um, he was going to hit the other trailer, so he's um, backed out of it. Excellent. Right, folks. Well, I'm going to get this field harvested, um, and then, yeah, get that field over yonder cultivated. Um, we'll have to do the mulching of this field another day. Um, we won't. I won't get it done off camera. So I'll have another go at the mulching side of things. We'll then have a look at obviously getting seeding from our fields. And then we'll have a look at um, lastly, finally, we'll get them rolled. And hopefully, all is good. And we'll be at maximum yield bonus. Because we'll have done everything right.
can get some fertiliser chucked down on the field as well, of course. Need to do that. So I'll take care of some of those jobs. So thank you for watching today's episode, everybody. Please make sure you click that like button for me. Uh, obviously, make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're not already doing so. And if you are doing so, stay subscribed because that's obviously very helpful. Leave me your comments, your questions, your suggestions, your feedback in the comment section down below. A comment is a great way of helping with the algorithm. Even if what you think you, you know, you're typing or writing isn't that important, it all helps out. So don't hesitate to put what you think in the boxes and send it to the internet. Um, share the video with everyone you can, everyone you know, everywhere you can, everywhere you know. And I'll see you all again very soon. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Stay safe. Goodbye from me.